So you want to go to law school. Applying is a lot, but it's doable if you know the ins and outs. In fact, people with family or friends who've gone to law school often find the process easier because they've asked those people for advice. But not everyone has those connections, which is why you should feel just as welcome to ask us for help. Mitchell Hamlin School of Law is committed to helping you apply for law school. You don't have to do this alone. Think of us as coaches here to support you. Start by attending an information session. They are a good way to learn from our admission team and current students about the process. There are also law fairs or recruitment events that might be coming up in your area. We can help you get those dates. To apply to law school, you must have a bachelor's degree and you must take the LSAT. The LSAT is a three-hour test given on certain dates each year. If the next test is soon, you might want to wait for a later one so you have time to prepare. Try to find a class or a book on how to prepare for the LSAT and take lots of practice tests to train yourself to do it within the allowed time. One way to think of this is that studying for the LSAT is like a part-time job for two to three months. We can also help you find free and discounted prep materials as well. Contact us. Your LSAT score will range from 120 to 180 and should come three to four weeks later. When you apply to law school, you do so through the LSAC system. This online portal will let you apply to multiple law schools without needing to gather the same material for each. It also means all your information stays in the system. So if you apply and decide not to go, but then try again later, that previous information is still there. There is a fee to create an LSAC account but later when you apply, we have no application fee at Mitchell Hamlin. As part of your Mitchell Hamlin application, you'll need a personal statement, resume, letters of recommendation, and official transcripts from all higher ed you've attended. There might be other materials you need depending on your situation or the program you want to attend. That personal statement is really important. It helps schools determine how well you write. Good writing is crucial to being a good lawyer, you might want to have people you know read it to make sure it's well-constructed and well-written. If you're accepted to Mitchell Hamlin, congrats! You'll also get your scholarship offer at that time. Your next move is to confirm where you want to go. You do that by making a deposit to save your spot. If you get into multiple schools, make sure to tell the others you won't be attending so they can free up that spot. Most law schools, including ours, hold events for admitted students in the spring. At any time during this process, we'd love to plan an individual appointment on phone, online, or in person to go over any questions you have and try to arrange a campus visit if you can. Here are other tips for applying to law school. Get a good night's sleep and sufficient breakfast on LSAT day. If you're not accepted to Mitchell Hamlin, contact us and ask how you might improve your chances. You can apply again the following application cycle. Unless you cancel your score, your LSAT score stays on your record. If you retake the LSAT, all previous scores remain on your report. As far as retaking the LSAT, only do it if you can really improve your score through additional study. But if you think you really did your best, it's unlikely your score will improve significantly. And it's not beneficial to retake the LSAT just to get the same score. Still, Every law school is different, so be sure to talk to someone in our admissions office for advice. A few final tips. Apply early, please. The application window opens October 1st, and there's limited space for each new class. When getting those letters of recommendation, remember, we're looking for proof of your academic ability. That might be hard if you've been out of school for a while, but a letter from your boss will help if it speaks to your analytical and writing skills, problem solving, creative thinking, and reasoning, and give specific examples like a project in your job that showcases these traits. We don't give a lot of weight to letters from family or friends, or even lawyers or judges if it doesn't appear they're familiar with your daily work. The application also asks for character and fitness addendums. Here you detail events in your life that might have contributed to poor performance in college, or even criminal justice interactions. These do not disqualify you for law school, but it's important to be candid. Detail what happened and what you learned from it. We can help talk through these matters as you fill out this part of the application. Welcome to the law school application process. We hope this will be an exciting admission cycle for you. Remember, we want you to be successful and you don't have to do this alone.
Our admissions team is here to help.